We're going to continue bonus coverage of rounding the bases, calling it rounding the bases, extra innings with John Michaels. Four final questions as we wrap things up. The first one, I told you this one was coming, or at least I alluded to it, was I said, as I often do, I'll throw myself under the bus here. Um, I, I am not in the business of mispronouncing names. If I do, it was by accident, not ignorance, because I always ask, and I said, is it Mykos? And you said, well, it, it's Mikos elsewhere, which I thought it might be, although it's even longer elsewhere. So tell me about the heritage, about being a first-generation um, uh, American, and, and what that name used to be. Yeah, so uh, both my parents uh, are from Greece. Uh, they immigrated to the United States a long time ago. They did not come here together. They both traveled through uh, Ellis Island uh, in different uh, different time periods and, and landed in, of all places, Tulsa, Oklahoma, at the Greek Orthodox Church, if you can believe that. Mm -hmm. And uh, during that kind of time period, uh, it was a time period where a lot of folks that were immigrating to the United States wanted to ensure to uh, uh, to Americanize yourself or to certainly, if you were to have children, put them in a better position than what they were. And so I grew up in a small town, again, in Oklahoma, and uh, you, my, my father wanted to ensure that our name did not sound ethnic. So rather than pronouncing it Mikos, uh, which is actually the way you would say it if you were in Greece, he said Mykos. And he actually went a, one step a little bit further. He actually shortened our name, which used to be Michalopoulos, to Mikos, to Mykos. So uh, that's a little bit of that history. And I, I'm very fortunate that uh, because both of my parents are, are Greece, about three years ago, I was able to get my Greek citizenship and now, as of today, I've got my dual citizenship, got my European passport, which means I can travel anywhere in the European Union and not need a visa or anything and stay as long as I want. <laughs> Pretty cool. And and you have multiple names, too, depending on where you're at. I, I imagine if you go back to Greece, it's the longer version. Why not, right? It's the absolutely. Why not? And then I also use my original first name as well, which is actually Angelo. I don't think I told you that. No, you either. did not. So, yeah. So, in fact, I'll be traveling this summer and I'll be known as Angelo, not John. <laughs> Angelo Michalopoulos, did I get that right? Yeah, Michalopoulos. Angelo Michalopoulos. You say, no one Angelo knows Michalopoulos. That I can get out of here. So, yeah, you, you, you have, um, you have a, that's well, not a fake name, it's a real name, but yeah, it's a, you, could, you, you can you can go all over the world as Angelo Michalopoulos and nobody will, nobody will know. That's, that, that's John from the Y. That's right. But they're going to watch your podcast, and now they're going to know. Now so they're going to know. I've blown my cover. <laughs> You've Thank blown you your all. cover. Appreciate the secret that. is out. <laughs> Once again, exposing everybody here <laughs> on rounding the bases, extra innings. All right, second question as we, we round the bases. This is just a fun, silly, goofy one. But I, still to this day, you know, congrats to the village people, I guess. When people think of the why, the first thing they think about uh, right or wrong is the darn song, which which can either drive you nuts or, or stay in your head in a good way. I don't really know. I only really think about that song now when we go to Yankee Stadium. It is actually one of the quirkiest, coolest things that every game, I don't know if it's like the sixth inning, when the grounds crew comes out, they drag the field and they stop in the middle and dance to the, the good old song, uh, the YMCA song, which which is fun. It's a quirky little Bronx, New York thing. That song can get old a little bit quick, but I've got to imagine – here and there, you still hear people bring it up or hum it because it is forever associated with the Y, right? It is. You know, it's the good thing and the bad thing, you know. And uh, so I guess they say there's there, there's no bad advertising, right? So, <laughs> but yeah, it, you hear it so so many times and so many so long, you do get a little angst about it. And uh, but, you know, that's fine. You know, we'll, we'll move on and we'll continue to, you know, deliver services. We've been around a long, long time, long before the village people song that song the YMCA. Yeah, before the village people, but I think that the song, and well, may not the village people themselves, will stay there as long as the Y is around. Again, free advertising. Why not? I don't know that there'll ever be anything like it again. Okay, third question as we round the bases. Let's get a little bit more serious too. When when you walk around that building downtown, every nook and cranny, at least the older portion of the building, and you 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 guys did a beautiful job of adding to the building and not taking away from what was there, just, just melding that beautifully together. Is there a nook, a cranny, or something you uncovered 
that just blew your mind? I think there's probably a lot of it just based on you showing me around. There's just there are parts of that where I, I felt like I was back in the in the forties, in the thirties or the forties. Was there was there a discovery that that really really shocked you? Well, you know, I, I being able to see some of the old architecture uh, is just remarkable. We uh, in one part of the building uh, there was a uh, one of those drop acoustic ceilings that were uh, uh, that were there, and and when we ended up uh, taking that entire ceiling structure. The, 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 there was so much beautiful architectural displayed up in the ceiling of, 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 of castings. Uh, I don't even know what they're called exactly, but it just so some of the ornate work that was done up in the ceiling was just absolutely breathtaking. Unfortunately, about 70% of it had been destroyed. So we ended up bringing someone in order to restore it to make it look as original as what it was before. So that's number one. Number two, uh, there were a lot of playbills uh, that from, mm. from the lyric times that were actually posted on the walls that was covered by sheetrock and then even more sheetrock that when all this stuff started coming down, you started seeing some of those. So we actually still have some of those playbills that are still up that are in the bowels and the basement of that type of building. So, uh, uh, so really, really kind of cool stuff to see history kind of relive itself as different parts of that building were taken down. Super cool. All right, final question, the walk-off. We touched on this a little bit in the audio version of the podcast, and I'll encourage everybody to go and check that out on on iTunes, Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And, and there's so much um, just rich discussion about people, about workforce development, about purpose. And when we were talking about purpose, we talked so much of what you were able to do at the Downtown Y in the midst of opening in the pandemic. And there's so many services that you offer. Is there something, and I, I know you touched on this, that that you're most proud of? I mean, you think about all the meals, you think about the testing, you think about everything you were able to do. This, this is not what we think about in terms of the why, although we should, because you guys have been part of communities for generations. What what stands out to you? Yeah, there, there are three things I want, I want to mention, which are just absolutely, just amazing. I think to start off with, uh, a lot of people probably have no idea that we're involved in this. So the University of Kansas uh, has their Alzheimer's uh, department that's here. In fact, Dr. Burns is one of the premier leading specialists in Alzheimer's and brain disease uh, in our region. And the Y actually partners with the University of Kansas uh, on doing research studies on physical activity, on being able to slow down brain disease. So we're actually published in journal articles along with the University of Kansas with a lot of different various protocols on how physical activity can actually help you uh, with brain, which is really kind of cool stuff. And, and then things a little bit more recently, and you just mentioned it, Joel, is food distribution. Uh, and even to this day, the, the Y has mobilized and worked with partners like harvesters, and we used our various parking lots at various Ys around the area, sometimes once a month or even twice a month, uh, we, we are doing a mobile a food a pantry. Uh, and, and we have lines of cars of people come into our parking lots and, and we're unloading food and, and providing uh, valuable food for lots of folks that are not fortunate enough to be able to have fresh fruits and vegetables. And in fact, we've had some of our U.S. senators uh, come out and volunteer to be able to help some of those. And then the third thing I'd like to mention, and again, early on uh, during the pandemic, is we utilized a lot of our facilities uh, for COVID testing. Uh, in those early years. And so we opened up our large gymnasiums, partnered uh, with a lot of healthcare providers, uh, uh, hospital systems, and be able to do uh, COVID testing in our community. So again, I can probably come up with six more, seven more, Joel, uh, but those are some very unique things that the Y does that a lot of folks probably have no idea that we've been involved in. No, and we're happy. I'm happy to be able to share those and, and so important in community. Again, I'll encourage everybody to go and check out our podcast on Rounding the Bases, Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen to your podcasts. John, thanks again for the stories, for the insight, and for telling us more about what you are all doing here on Rounding the Bases Extra Innings. Appreciate it. Thank you.